Hello, this is Tristan Schmidt. Um, today I am going to walk you through the challenge 1B. Um, and uh, so that was the redo of what we did for challenge 1A. Um, so my table, my lamp, and the um, personal or original design, which I did my desk setup that I have here uh, right, right in front of me. So yeah, and uh, I did some file moving around. I, re re I completely reorganized my entire um, repository earlier. So these are kind of, they don't know where they are, but once I open them up, they'll be fine. So anyway, uh, let's start with, with the table. So here we have it. Uh, of course, the most recent modules have been focusing on the uh, insert edge loop tool, and then as well as the extrude tool, um, which have both been extremely useful, as well as using um, symmetry. And so I was able to come up with this design for a table, um, kind of like, uh, I kind of want to say it's almost, well, it's, it's, it's very angular, it's very, uh, I don't know, like, it's kind of futuristic, but like, yeah, I'm not really sure what I was going for with it, but um, I, just, I was just kind of just messing around with pulling different edges down, um, messing with uh, like the vertice um, symmetry, things like that. Um, and like down here on the legs, I was kind of focusing on more of like the pushing and pulling of like each of these sides in, um, scaling things out, um, extruding that up, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I thought that that turned out pretty good. All right, next one, the lamp. Um, this one, uh, this one, I did use a reference image, um, and uh, I have a lamp similar to this back home, uh, so I was kind of basing it off of that. Uh, but I kind of I wanted to do to do kind of like an industrial style looking lamp design, um, and yeah, I thought this ended up looking pretty good. Um, again, a lot of use of the extrude tool. Of course, you can see all of the lines here that I used for the insert edge loop tool. I was originally going for on the switch here to have kind of more of a classic light switch kind of style. So I wanted to have like something coming up here. Um, but I wasn't really sure how to pull off that effect because if I pull the edge out, it pulls everything else with it. And I wanted to have that only straight up. So I wasn't quite sure how to execute that. So I just put a um, button on the top there. Um, but yeah, and so uh, extrude for everything else, pulling that up, pulling it that way, pulling it that way, pulling it that way, and then down. Um, and then this is just a cone with a ball on top of it, or a uh, sphere on top of it, uh, and then pushed into there. And yeah, so I uh, thought that that turned out pretty cool. And uh, yeah, again, a lot of use of the extrude tool and the insert edge loop tool. All right, now finally, um, here is the desk. Um, of course, since I have my desk right in front of me, it's pretty easy to kind of have a have a uh, reference for it. So a few, there's a few, I think there's four total objects here. Because um, this, so the desk and the monitor stand are all one that I just used the insert edge loop tool and then the extrude tool to pull these out, pull it out of there, kind of, you know, achieve that um, that shape there. Um, and then for the monitor and the keyboard and the mouse, um, these are their own separate objects. Of course, I did connect them all, um, so they are all just one thing now, but when I was modeling it, these were um, separate things. So like the stand is separate from the screen while I, while I was um, modeling those individually. Um, and yeah, again, a lot of use of the extrude tool and the insert edge loop tool. Um, I did some messing around with uh like the scaling tool here with the with the space bar um i i would i would have liked to do each and every individual key but that's a lot of individual scaling um so if there's any way to like uh i don't know, make, make that more efficient um that that would be a great thing to learn cuz if i highlight all of these and then try to scale them all at once it just scales the whole thing um, so if there's anyone to individualize that, that'd be awesome. Uh, <clears throat> but yeah, so this space bar I thought ended up looking pretty cool. Um, kind of scaling that top layer in the top faces here in, um, and then the mouse is just a cube that I pulled the edges, pulled different faces in, insert edge loop there, um, kind of pulled that back and yeah, thought that that turned out pretty good. So here's a rough idea of what my, of what my current, uh, field of, of, vision looks like right now like 
I'm pretty much pretty much right here is what I'm seeing right now. So yeah, <laughs> that, that that turned out pretty good. So yeah, that's about it. Um, and I will see you in the next one.